This introduction is going to be short because it is cold in my car right now. We had 70, almost 70 degree weather yesterday. And today it has been raining most of the day. There are flash flood warnings absolutely everywhere and it's starting to turn into snow. It's not good. Um, but that's beside the point. I did finish Reaper at the Gates. Gate? Gate? Yeah. I, whether or not it has an S on the end. I did finally finish that and I did really get into it at the end. So, yep. I'm going to be continue on in that series because I need to know how that one ends. I really do. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Mainly because I just did a sprint from the door to my car because it's so cold. But I also got book number four. Technically, this was three. But I got this book done as well. This is actually a book club book for work. The internet was down. So I couldn't do any of my work on the computer. So I'm like, I'll just bust this sucker out. I was going to wait until next week because that's when group is. Did it anyways. That's fine. I think this is now officially considered my shortest book because it is like one page shorter than mitosis. I'm going to have to reconfigure how my challenges fit in with all my reads. But this was an interesting little read. Probably not that exciting to most of you, but I will talk about this one in my wrap up. <sighs> so that means I started a new book while I was working. I'm about 25%, about a quarter of the way through um, the naming. Um, I don't have a physical book right now because I was reading it digitally, but about 25% of the way through that right now, I may, depending on how I fly through that book, may be able to get it finished tomorrow. It's a reread for me, which is part of the reason why I decided to pick that up because I've got a day and a little bit of change left to finish a book. And I didn't want to start Slayer because I don't think I want to put pressure on Slayer. I want to enjoy Slayer. So the naming it was, I literally don't remember most of this book, which probably isn't a good thing. Good, but you know, it's one of those books I read in high school, which was way long ago now, but um, uh, yes. So that is going to be a book I'm going to try to read. So maybe I'll get five books done for your Rama. Maybe. I'm going to end this little clip here because I am cold and we are just, yeah, we're going to go. Probably going to be the shortest vlog of this readathon because it's basically me talking, you seeing my bacon wrapped little smokies because I didn't really know what else I should film for the day, and then me talking again because honestly, that is basically what my evening was. So I did read a little further in the naming, I am now probably about a third of the way through. Let's see, I'm on page 192, so almost 200 pages in. Today was a really good reading day, but that's mainly because, like I said, internet was down at work, and so I had to figure out what to do in between meetings when I couldn't be doing work work stuff, because all of my job requires the internet, and I don't have a work hotspot. And of course, it's 40 minutes before I leave before the internet actually comes back, which is not very productive for my day. Tomorrow's going to be fun, but that's neither here nor there. So I have gotten about 200 pages in. I think I can finish this tomorrow. I think it's doable. Depending on whether or not this gets done, I have another dress fitting tomorrow. And then date with my husband because it's time to get some kind of 
sushi. I'm, I'm craving sushi. It's got to be sushi, right? Right. It's got to be sushi. And then after that, maybe, maybe I'll read a little more of the Kenville incident. Maybe I'll, like, speed read through the rest of it and get it done for the day. I don't know. I, I don't honestly have high hopes for that one. But that is what I'm aiming for. We are currently doing pretty okay with not getting any of the flooding, but there is a whole heck of a ton going on around us right now, and it's it's a little devastating, to be honest. Yeah. Oh! Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. A pothole tried to eat my car today. <laughs> That's my big highlight of the day. Pothole just jumped out and tried to eat my car, and now one of my... Poor little tires is, is a little naked. Doesn't have its little hubcap on it. And it's sad. Part of me wants to see if I can find like a pink hubcap and just like slap it on there. Because you can't have too much pink on your car. But you know, in reality, I have to take my car in to be serviced next month anyways. So I'll just get that replaced then. Not a big deal. It's just one of those like really scary things in the moment when you hit that pothole and you hear that sound and you're just praying that you did not just pop that tire as you're driving down the road on the way to work. Yeah. Tell me down below if you have any of those interesting car related stories and you can relate to everything that's been happening to my face today. Because I'm done with potholes. And I will see you. I don't, know. I don't see. This is why I like doing planned recordings because I can just cut these like awkward moments out. And plus, I don't know. My I just got congested all of a sudden. <coughs> Anyways, I heart you, beautiful faces, and I will see you tomorrow, the last day of Readorama.